Let's now talk about the devices area. On the left hand side, I can go to devices and now you see two tabs up here. We see Chrome devices and we see the lost Chrome device recovery. Now the Chrome devices tab shows us all the devices that have been registered into our classroom account. These are the ones that we've pulled in from your G Suite account. If you notice, I have 52 devices in here. I have active and I have deprovisioned. Notice the columns that we have here. We can get lots of information. Let's talk about something really simply that happens inside of the classroom account here or the device console. If you've noticed, we give you lots of information in this table format. Now these are standard tables, which means if I am right now, I am sorting by model number. If I want to change that, if I want to sort by location, I can click on location and now I'm sorting my devices by location. If I want to, I can also move columns around. If I want to drag this OS version one over here besides notes, I can do that. Now my columns go serial number model OS version. Very simple. If I want to add or subtract a column from my table, all of our tables have a cogwheel up here in the upper right, right next to the very first column. I can click on that and now you see all of the other columns that we can add or take away. So I can hit last scene here and I'm going to re hit reset widths and watch this. It's going to change this table and reset the width so they all see are being seen in my window of my browser. And now I've got my last scene column here. I can also take it away by just going back over here, take away last scene, hit reset widths. Now, the reset all button here is like setting this table back to factory reset. When I did that, it moved the OS version from over here to the last column. That's okay. Also above every one of our tables is our navigation bar. It's always here on the right. If you can see, I'm showing one of 50, 52 records. I can tab over and I can now I'm seeing three of 52, or I go back. Easy way to navigate pages. There's usually one to three buttons at the top of every one of our tables. The first button, which is the circle created by two arrows, is just a refresh. Hey, refresh the table. The second button here, the over under area arrows, is a resync the devices. Hey, all you crazy devices in this table, talk to us. Give us your newest and latest and greatest information. You do that. It's going to sync everything and you can see it's doing a Google sync there. Okay. And the last button is an export button. I can take this table and I can export it out to a CSV file. All I have to do is click on it and you see here comes my CSV file down here that has now been downloaded. You could have a table here that has like 3000 records and it's going to create a CSV file with 3000 records. If you need to select anything in here, if you need to put a check mark, I can say all or I can say none. If I do hit all and I have multiple pages, I can actually hit all pages. And it says yes, I want to do that. And now I've selected all my items in that table. Really kind of cool. The other thing is let's say I need to edit or I need more information on a line item in here. I can come down and I'm going to look at this ACES Flip 6 here. And I'm actually, I'm going to take number one. I'm going to do ACES Flip 1 here. When I click on that line item, you notice it opens up and it shows me all the wonderful information about that line item. Plus I can do some editing if I needed to. If you remember back in the Users tab, when I clicked on that user, it opened it up and I was able to change their role and I could add a different location to it. In our devices table here, there's some really neat things we can do. We can move that device to another OU inside of our G Suite without going to G Suite. And this is also where we can activate the lost mode kiosk. Now there's two ways we can put a device into lost mode. 
we can hit this here, or you can actually go into your G Suite and move the device from whatever OU it's in now to that lost devices OU. Kind of a best practices thing I always tell everybody to do is before you put a device in the lost mode, come here, go to the location OU area, and copy it and paste it up here in the notes box. That way, when you pull it out of lost mode, you know where it's going to go to. And I'm going to hit save here just so that it remembers that information. So I'm going to come back here to Asus Flip. And you see it says student Chromebooks. Okay, now I want to put this Chromebook into lost mode. So I'm going to click activate lost mode kiosk. Click on it. It says, hey, this device is going to be moved to lost devices. It gives us some other information. One of the most important things is it's going to tell us is, hey, we might have to have that device reboot before it actually goes into lost mode. Because remember, what happens in the lost mode, when it goes into that OU, it is going to activate that kiosk app that we've put into that OU. So I'm going to hit yes here. And there it goes. And you can actually see Flip 6 down here. If I can find it here again. And a nice little neat, neat feature that we have here is I can go Flip 6. And there it is. Okay. And it's actually showing that it is in the Lost Devices OU. Now, what happens to a device when it does go into that Lost mode? After that kiosk app is activated, it'll go show up here. And you can see this says Asus Flip 6 Chromebooks now. And it says it's lost. I can click on it. I'm going to like, I'm going to edit that line item again. And here it is. You can see the message that was sent out to it, the what the customer is saying, help, I'm lost, return me, self-destruct in 20 minutes. Okay. And now I'm getting some wonderful information on it. I can go to the location, I can click on the map here, and you can see the location of that device. Okay, really kind of neat. It pinpoints it down to where it is. And I can X out of that. If I'm taking screenshots, if I'm doing that, the screenshots will show up here. Or if the person has sent me any messages, it will show up there. But most importantly, is this location area. Now, let's talk about location. Please remember, location is going to give you longitude and latitude. It will not give you altitude. Sorry about that. If your device is on the 13th floor of the building, we don't know that. All we know is the longitude and latitude of it. When I have found that device and I'm ready to move it back, all I have to do is go deactivate lost mode, if you remember, this one came out of student Chromebooks. And so I'm going to put it right there. And I'm going to hit save. Now, when I look at Lost Chrome Recovery, it's going to turn off that kiosk app. I'm going to refresh my table here. And eventually, this will say the status will change from uh, lost to found. And this is where you can keep a record of those devices that have been found and lost here. Really kind of a neat thing. And that's our devices. And that's how we look at devices and manage devices and the different things you can do with devices.